When the central bank meets in September, they're going to cut rates, mortgage rates are going to come down, and buyer traffic will increase. No and no. Hi, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. I don't make long-term projections, but I think this one is easy. Yes, they're meeting in September. Yes, they're going to cut rates, probably. How much? Well, the bond market's thinking that they're going to cut them by about uh, 50 BPS, 0.50. But what if they only cut it by 0.25? As the bond market has already baked in that anticipated rate cut of 0.50. If they come in and they announce and go, well, numbers are looking good. We're getting closer to our inflation target. We're going to lower rates by 0.25. Well, the bond market is going to be disappointed. Mortgage rates are going to go up. They've gone up every time the central bank has had their meeting. Every time. Now, the next day, they may come down. But every time, the day of, they come up. So there's this narrative out there that says, here it comes. Here comes this rate cut in September. Folks, it's already baked into the numbers. It's already there. We look at the mortgage rates today, and we can see here that we're sitting here at 6.43. That's kind of where they've been. So that number's already there. We're not going to get down much lower than that. Maybe we'll get at 6.2 if they do come in at you know, 0.5, but here's what the news is saying, and I'm going to quote one of our local experts here, Greg Haig from 72 Sold. He's got a really big uh, PR firm, so he gets on all the sites. So, sorry, Greg, I don't agree with you on this one. Today, the market feels lethargic. I agree, it is. Overall, in the Phoenix market, buyers and sellers have fairly equal bargaining power. Once again, I agree. He said, however... I believe as rate drop, rates drop and demand increases, sellers will gain the upper hand. It's not going to happen September. He sees September as a short window of opportunities for buyers to capitalize on lower rates and snag their next home before they face multiple offer situations later. Nope. Nope. It's not going to happen in September, Greg. I'm sorry. You've been doing this a lot longer than me. I get it. But I'm kind of reading the tea leaves here, and I just don't see it happening. And a couple reasons why. Um, one, I already touched on this, and that is the bond traders boldly bet on 300 basis points of Fed cuts by March. That's old news. That didn't happen, did it? <laughs> so bond traders sometimes get ahead of their skis. Then I look at our local listings here and listing growth, and I'm seeing that, you know, they barely went up. But it's gone up because we're heading into Labor Day weekend. So people have a tendency to say, let's get the house listed before Labor Day weekend. We'll get all this traffic. Well, traffic's not there. Everybody's out of town. So listings kind of creep up a little bit. And so I expect that to flatten. So that's, I don't see that going down in September. Because if we do, in fact, get a really huge rate cut, yes, absolutely. People are going to go, this is fantastic. Let's go. Honey, start the car. Rates are low. Here's what we got right now. We're sitting here, and he said it was lethargic, and he's right. These are listings under contract compared weekly. That's been going down, 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 and it's, it's flat. So the thing to watch is, well, first and foremost, the rate cut. September 18th, Chairman Powell gets on TV. Tells us what he's going to do. Watch the bond market. Everybody's going to be all over it like flies on you know what. And we'll see what happens. The other thing that's not mentioned anywhere in here is the number of people that are sitting on their hands because of the election. Buyers are not. You can put the rates down to 5.9 in the middle of September. And the buyers are not going to rush to the door. You're not going to create bidding wars. It's just there's too much of a turnaround that has to happen for that to, to appear. I mean, when we look at some of the uh, charts that we've got on the uh, on the Crawford Market Index, I mean, there's, you know, a lot of buyer's markets out there already, and uh, they're going to wait until after the election. I hate my It's the elections have never affected re the current trend in real estates, but it does affect volume. And you can have a rate cut in September. You can have a great rate cut in September. I don't see the feds going above 0.50. If they do, I think rates are going to stay right there and maybe dip a little. If they go 0.25, they're going to come up a little bit. 
That's what I see happening, folks. And this is where we're at in our market right now. You can see Fountain Hills is already a seller's market. I'll circle these seller's markets here right now. This is an index. It's a measure of supply and demand. And these are all in favor of sellers right there. These down here, Buckeye's clearly a buyer's market, as is Maricopa, Queen Creek, Surprise, Goodyear, and Tempe. Tempe's kind of surprising that it's that low. Uh, the rest of these are all due to the fact that there's so much new construction out there, and they're throwing everything at you but the kitchen sink. So the other areas are kind of hanging in there. Uh, Fountain Hills is kind of being more of a seller's market because listings haven't showed up. They don't start showing up out there until November. So we're going to wait and see what happens after the election. And whatever the trend is will be the, what the trend's going to be in December. It's not going to impact anything. The only thing that happens, the stock market usually rallies the day after an election because they're just glad it's over. <laughs> so I'm not, as, I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer here. I'm just saying that what you're seeing now is people are trying to push you out to hurry up and buy. Because, wow, it's going to get really wild after the rate cut in September. Wrong. Don't be fooled. The trend right now, I think, is going to stay there. If you're out buying, that's great. That's fine. You know what your budget is, and you know where the market is. But if you're sitting around and you're thinking, and somebody's telling you, man, you better hurry, because when this rate cut comes, and you know who they are, and you'll see it, especially see it on Facebook Better get out there. Better get ready to go because it's September 18th. Those rates are coming down. Everybody's going to want to buy. Don't be fooled. If you have any questions, shoot me an email at rick. rickhelps.com. Take care.